hello and uh, welcome back uh, today <laughs> again a frequency counter uh, I like uh, my counters um, this one is the HP I need to read the number it's the 5385A it goes uh, up to 1 gigahertz but it can easily do 1.2 and uh, let's try that um, these are wanted by many and hated by few <laughs> um, I was lucky to find one uh, I bought it on uh, eBay I think it's from Germany um, it does not have the special oscillator option so uh, I read some reviews and it, it could drift a bit so but, but first we're just gonna check and for me it doesn't matter because I'm gonna use the external reference uh, but of course I like to see uh, if it's uh, yeah, if it's any good it's working I bought a working unit um, yeah I, I, I can't uh, <laughs> I almost don't realize I have it because these things new are around were around uh, what you talk about uh, the 90s they were around uh, 2000 euros and now they are well below the 10% of that so uh, it is a very nice counter again it uh, it's not necessarily very clean um, so we're gonna start with that and of course we're gonna open it <laughs> okay look at that it uh, does look nice let's see if I can zoom in a bit yes uh, it has little scratches and yeah it's it's very dirty my hands are already sticky and smelly so I really need to clean it but I just wanted to see if it uh, if it starts and because it was a working unit so okay well that looks good there is a check function it is now checking its internal oscillator well which uh, of course if you reference to yourself <laughs> it should be correct uh, that seems to be the case uh, so that is good the CPU seems to be working I have uh, put now uh, 10 megahertz in the front this is from my uh, reference um, but I must say this is not bad because now it's comparing his internal oscillator with my uh, laboratory reference with uh, yeah I'll put 10 seconds yeah this is not bad at all if this is his internal oscillator I think I <laughs> am lucky I have a good unit okay well in, in the beginning I was a bit uh, surprised that it didn't have too many uh, digits um, but it seems here you can just add them uh, because uh, the Philips that we had that one digit more so I thought well, that should be a little bit better uh, and it is well look at this we can add one we can add another one the M is still here Let's see, can we get another one? I think this is it. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 digits. Okay, I'm now uh, up to 1 gigahertz. Um, yeah, the Maconi doesn't go any higher, so I'm sorry I cannot show that, but I have seen uh, reviews um, from others that. Um, that it uh, went easily to 1.2 so uh, um, yeah and now we have uh, what we want to see but I still like to open it so it's open um, it's just uh, four screws in the bottom um, yeah well it <laughs> looks like some uh, animal is lived in here that is a pity but the rest it looks uh, nice and, uh, and clean um, look at this it's quite modern and uh, I was looking for the crystal um, but uh, it actually has a, a proper oscillator it is not the oscillator option I think because that one uh, should be here but uh, yeah they fitted here some communication uh, option I will take that out and then below there 
you can see the, 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 the standard oscillator, which is a proper oscillator I see now because yeah, it is not a simple crystal, but uh, I will show you. So here we have it. Look at this. This is a proper oscillator, it's not just a simple uh, crystal. And it's uh, here. And it's 10 megahertz. And uh, we can adjust it here, so I can maybe get it a little bit uh, better. I was just thinking while cleaning about this oscillator that some people say that it's not that stable and then you can try to buy a, a module for, of a remake of the of the HP uh, but I'm just checking and it is just a 10 megahertz sine wave so uh, you can probably do that with well this is a bit too much or with this one well, look at this, all shiny and white. So, I'm happy with the result and uh, thank you for watching, hope to see you next time.